Learning from and helping heal bats. Is your phone ringing or are you just happy to see me? And new entrant, worst idea ever. Hey there again, I'm Voice of America's Doug Bernard and this is your daily download. Well, we start in New York City where long lines are forming for the launch of Apple's long-awaited new operating system called Leopard. Apple's update to its OS X operating system hit store shelves as more consumers move to Macintosh computers to complement their iPods and their iPhones. One analyst saying Apple's careful timing and P.T. Barnum-like showmanship is driving their product line. Well, we had iPhone in late June, we had iPods in early September, and now we've got Leopard operating system uh, updating the iMac line uh, here in October and into November. iPod, iPhone, iMac, uh, enough already. Well, that brings us to this very important medical news alert. Doctors now saying that mobile phone users are experiencing something called cell phone buzz. People report feeling their mobile phones vibrate even when it's nowhere near their body. Medical experts saying wearing a phone in the same spot over time trains the brain to feel vibrations even when they're not there. The authors also report lots of giggling in putting this study together. Well, we're just about out of time here to use up all our creepy stuff for Halloween. Just about, but not yet. So, how's this for you? Buh! See, now, I'm not creeped out by bats, and neither are these two Brown University researchers. Um, kinda. I definitely had the sense when I met Kenny that he would just as soon never come within, you know, a mile of a live bat. <laughs> Big baby. Well, obviously, over their bat phobia, these engineers now studying how bats actually fly generating these cool pictures and CG animations. They're hoping to apply whatever they learn to newer, smaller flying gizmos, uh, including flying toys that will get tangled in people's hair. And then there's these guys. Vampire bat, ma'am. Okay, actually, this a bat hospital on Britain's Isle of Wight. The patients here, well, pretty much like any animal hospital, a little shy, very fuzzy, and cute as a bug's ear. And hey, speaking of bugs... Yeah, she does quite like our mealworms. So she has regular mealworms rather than minis. Mmm, mealworms. Okay, come on. What do you think she eats? She's a bat. The hospital, keeping the bats for weeks to years, depending on the range of injuries uh, or how much weight they have to lose. Uh, and uh, all we have to say is looking good. Oh, sorry, I mean looking good. Well, finally from us, this item, perhaps the scariest story we've seen all week. Here's the walk station. And, and what it does is it allows somebody to be at work and walk and burn calories and be healthy and yet retain their productivity. A treadmill for your cubicle. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to this. We are now officially out of good ideas. Oh, by the way, laugh it up now. Very soon, this is going to be you. Well, that is your download for today. Hey, shoot, get on out of here. We'll see you again tomorrow.